Hello everyone, I'm Harder D, and today we're playing West of Loathing. Uh, we just got into town, we picked our class, which were a bean slinger. Don't exactly know what that means, but, uh, oh, so. oh yeah, dynamite. Um, damages an enemy while in combat and is useful, and is useful, and sometimes useful outside of combat as well. Examine it. You examine the dynamite. It's got an end, you like, and an end that blows up. Okay, just check it. Alright, awesome. Ooh, I can of beans. What's this do? Uh, this item goes in your offhand. Spell damage, muscle, moxie. Alright, that sounds pretty decent. What's the dusty turn to? Increases your muscle, masculine, mysticality, and moxie by one for the rest of the day. Oh, okay. So, I want to keep that, uh... Um, I want to keep that nice and safe, just in case. Oh, stupid phone. Alright, um... Mind your meat. Gives you the dickering skill. Well, read that. You read a book from cover to cover and learn, among other things, that its cover price was way too high. Got the skill dickering. Nice. After you're done reading it, you use your newfound skills to pawn it off on a wide-eyed room for 60 meat. You gain 60 meat. So, oh, that's my meat. So I'm assuming that meat is money in this game. So Alice MD, get lost. All right. Oh, there's the drunk guy. There's a sheriff. All right, let's go talk to a sheriff. What do we got here? Uh, ooh. There's a dirty mug here. Grab it. You got a recovered mug. Woo! I'm in prison! Oh, I was hoping I could go inside prison, but I can't. All right, what do you got? Huh? <clears throat> let's see. Um, Howdy, stranger. Welcome to the Boring Springs. I'm the sheriff in these parts. <laughs> but what? He sighs. The sheriff, okay? Blessed sign painters. Say, you would have happened to be looking for work, would ya? As a matter of fact, I am. Great, cause I happen to have some. There's a gang of hoodlums around here that call themselves the Fricker Gang. Whoa. Last time I arrested one of them, they bust they busted him out and took my cell door with them. It ain't well, uh, much of a good without the door. And and I need someone tough, smart, and or slick to go fetch it back for me. Why don't you do it? You're the, sh you're the sheriff after all. Okay, I'll give it a shot. You're the sheriff after Oh, that's one of my options. Okay, I was like thinking, so like, why is he saying I'm the sheriff? Okay, I'll give it a shot. Funny, funny you should say that, because I'd be spending, sending the deputy along with you to keep you out of trouble. He takes a pistol out of his desk and hands it to you. You got the item, Deputy Pistol. Deputy? You deputize a gun? You're new in town. Maybe you ain't noticed, but there ain't much to do here except drink. Here, let me write down where the Frickers gang, Frickers, Frickers gang, oh, hideout is. He makes you a little note on your map. You discovered a new map location, the Fricker gang's hideout. Got it. I'll be back with it all. We got a pistol. A broken board. Oh, but the broken board's like a shield. Oh, sweet. Recovered mug. A dirty glass mug. The bottom is stamp property of Boring Spring Saloon. Reward for turn. Oh, sweet. Free shit. Woohoo! Look at me go! Yeah, last time, if you guys remember, we got the stupid walk. We got the stupid walk. So that means that my character does a bunch of random weird shit when he's walking. Alright, let's jump in here. As you walk into the saloon, the crazy-eyed guy sitting to the left of the door shrieks and waves at you to get your attention. Hey! Where's your hat, Dagonabby? Well, uh, you can't drink in here without a hat. Tain't proper. He points to the take a hat, leave a hat box next to the door. Check the box. You look through the hat box and find a magical black Stetson. That looks something like you'd wear. Grab it. Woo! Oh, man, check that out. Now I look like, you know, more like a wizard. Uh, barely enchanted hat. You grab the hat and put it on. Uh, thanks, uh, Pate. Thanks, Pate. He gives you a friendly and somewhat twitchy nod. Say, feller. Eh? You heading west? If mm, you want some company, I'd be more than happy to come along. Just let me know. Uh, no pressure. All right, keep that in mind. I got a hat now. Ooh, hats. You already have a hat. What would you do with two hats? I'd wear both hats. <laughs> Double hats. All right, so this is crazy Pete. What do you say, Pete? Who, me? 
Well, heck, I say all kind of things. For instance, I've been mining these mountains longer than bald-headed shuffle munchkin can dance a hornpipe. Uh-huh. Pete takes a swig of his whiskey. See ya, man, Pete. Oh, gross. It's a spit too. <clears throat> it's a spit too. Uh, people spit into it. You know, without even looking at in it, that it's absolutely disgusting. Look in it. Yeah, it's full of spit. Regular spit. Gross tobacco spit. Chewing gum. And it looks like a few teeth as well. It's disgusting. And the smell, even from a distance, smells horrible. Look closer. <laughs> you are now on your hands and knees peering into a filth encrusted spit tube. I don't I don't understand what is wrong with you. Wait, is there something shiny at the bottom? Ooh, get it. You reach your hand towards the spittoon. Even before you touch it, you can feel the grossness in the air. Like a greasy fog enveloping the stinking brass horror. It smells like vomit like the vomit trough at a barbecue at a mesquite barbecue eating contest. You hesitate. <laughs> Never surrender. You plunge your hand into the awful soup. Ooh, it's not soup. Um, it makes us sound like lop. Your skin is burning. Your eyes start to water. Search! Your fingers come in contact with something. You pull your hand out of the devil's careen slowly, not daring to risk splashing the contents all over yourself. You appear to have gotten some kind of ring, probably some kind of disease as well. Congratulations. You got an item. Nasty ring. Hooray! Nasty ring. Oh, man, we even equipped it. What's it do? Plus one muscle, masculinity, and moxie. Alrighty, well, we are really getting our, you know, stuff, you know, done. What do we got here? These two are playing poker. At least they're trying to. They keep looking back and forth at their hands, from their hands to the how do you how to play poker card that came with their deck, biting their lips and concentrating real hard. Can I play? Oh, sorry, can I play? They look at you nervously. Look, I have some meat. Let's play. Alright, I guess we're gambling. You put 20 meat on the table and sit down before they can say no. One of them shuffles the cards, sloppily, and deals a new round. You get a pair of tens, plus a two, a three, and a king. Oh, man. Do you want? Screw it. We have a lot of boxy from all the shit we be Bet crazily. Uh, eat this, all in suckers. Sweet sweat gushes from their faces as each read the how to play poker card again. But eventually, they both add 20 meat to the pot. Okay, read them wheat. You show them the pair of tens plus two, three, king. The guy on the left has a full house, two jacks and three aces. And the gal on the right somehow got a straight flush, two through six in hearts. Outfox them or I win? I win! You explain that jacks are worth 9 points each, giving the, giving the guy on the left a total of 21 points to the gal on the right's 20, and you're 25, plus a king. They squint at you at the rules again, but eventually shrug and nod at you. You collect your winnings and stand up. They thank you for helping them learn the game. <laughs> I just duped some people out of, you know, cards. What do you got? Oh, I love your top hat. You walk to the bar and wait patiently for the bartender to notice you. While you're waiting, you see a sign taped to the back wall reading, Reward for lost mug, 25 meat each. Keep waiting. The bartender finally notices you. Howdy, cowboy. Howdy, barkeep. Name's Rick. What brings you to our little backwater town? Our little backwater. Oh, the usual. I came out west to make a fortune. Not much luck so far, though. Any work around these parts? Unfortunately, Borg Springs already has more people than it does jobs. It's more of a errand town, if you catch my meaning. If you're looking for a real job, I'd recommend taking, talking to the railroad people up by the dirty water. Um, ask about the dirty water. Dirt, or dirt water. Dirt water is interesting. It's far enough west that it's still more or less exempt from the rule of law, but not so far west that it's been burned into the ground by the damned cows. Lots of opportunity there. She pauses for a few seconds, lost in thought. That's a she? Whoops. Guess she just got a manly, manly voice. <laughs> yep, if I were a younger woman, I'd probably head that way myself. I spot the railroad. The railroad? The Manifest Destiny Railroad Company from back east. 
they're trying to run a line to Frisco and having a heck of a time doing so. Are they hiring? Oh, I reckon they're always hiring for one or another. Big company, that is. Ask about errands. You mentioned errands. Yeah, this forsaken burg is always full of falling apart in one way or another. The hustler's always needing help since he hurt his leg, and that ain't no axe account, Sheriff. <laughs> Sheriff could certainly stand to have somebody doing his job for him. Anything else? Well, I got a goblin loose in the basement. Some cowpoke in from the gulch didn't wipe his off his boots and got spores everywhere. I can probably handle a goblin. Much obliged. I'll lock the basement door for you. Oh, and you'll need this. You got an item, weak fungicide. I'll take care of it. All right, Madeline the Goblin. What's this guy say? Howdy. Howdy, I'm Rick. Howdy, Rick. I'm a horse. Nice to meet Nice to meet you. What do you do? I'm the town hostler. Hostler, yeah. I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm the town horse selling guy. Got, gotcha. How's it working out for you? Oh, the horses are just flying out the door. So business is booming. Nice. No, I mean the horses keep running away. I haven't sold one in ages. Hey, is that why you're drinking here instead? I am. And me being being here drinking instead of watching the horses is probably how they keep escaping. It's one of those vicious circle things. Well, I'm in need of a horse. Do you have any left? One. Kind of boring one, but it's got four legs and a back to sit on. Come see me at the stand. I'll be happy to show it to you. Okay. Hello, missy. The woman glares at you. You should probably just let her drink. Nope. I'm a doctor. Oh, I can't talk to her. Bow, chick, 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 bow, bow. What's this guy doing? I pro probably should let him leave him alone. Uh, he's playing a piano. Maybe I want to play piano. What's going on in here? Whoa! I got a lamp! A pile of old newspapers. Oh, take one. Sweet. You got a Boring Swings Gazette, April 20th, 1895. That's fine. Whoa! Rock pile. Nope, nothing happened there. Da, 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 da. Whiskey. Yeah. A, a crate of Nurse Brand Whiskey. Good for what ails you. Grab a bottle. I guess I never established your age. Good thing you're. Legal drinking here just can reach the top of the bar. You got an item, Nurse Brand Whiskey. Okay. And this must be the goblin. The goblin shouts, Briark! Do I want to attack him? He doesn't really look like he's harming much. Do you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to leave him for now. I'm going to slither my way back up to the top. I'll leave him for now. There, there might be other opportunities. Oh, I keep stepping in poop. Yo, buddy, do you have anything? Um, so his name is Brad. Howdy. Um, how about some free? How about some free dynamite? Huh. Sir, I admit that you drive a hard bargain, but I find your terms acceptable. Oh, you got another dynamite. No trades right now, thanks. Get lost. All right, what's this guy got to say? Did you bring me something to read? Give me the newspaper. Uh, you give me the newspaper you found in the basement of the saloon. Um, much, much obliged, partner. Now, let's see here. That I can get to return the favor. Oh, I know, my shovel. I left it behind the outhouse at Orhole Mine. It's yours if you go and get it. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Woo, and you gain three experience. Yeehaw, get, skill up. Gumption, level two. Thank you. Behind the outhouse at Orhole Mill? I mean, Orhole Mine? Got it. Thanks, Bill. Don't mention it. Uh, now, if you could just kind of stick that newspaper to my face before you leave. Stick the newspaper to him. Ah, uh, the shovel's probably to help with this. Alright, so now that we got this, and uh... Oh, there we go. Horses, 100 meat. Afternoon, sir. What can I get for you? How's business? Uh, you know, every day I'm hustling. <laughs> to tell you the truth, though, it's pretty terrible. All of my horses keep running away. Well, except for the completely ordinary one. Well, that's rough. Maybe I can help. Oh, God, yes. Thank you. Please, 
I'd go fetch him myself, except for this injury. I'll give you 300 meat each for finding them. How many are there? Three. Here, let me see your map. They're pretty much always running up to the same places. He draws you three little pictures on your map. You discover a new map location, or Hill Mine. You discover a new location, Boring Springs Boneyard. And discover a new map location, Thousand Snake Gulch. Why these places? Or, sorry, why these places? <clears throat> I think they like the environments that are thematically appropriate. Here, when you find one, find one, feed it some of these oats. That should send it back. You got an item? Bag of homing oats. How does it work? There are special pigeon-infused oats. Okay, will do. See you later. Take her. Oh, I got another needle. Woo! <laughs> nice little circle. Sweetie, got some needles. Alrighty, well, we got some missions, and next time uh, we're going to be exploring that. See how it comes along. So I'm looking forward to doing that with you guys. Uh, please subscribe to the channel so that you guys can watch me continue playing this game. Looks to be tons of fun. And I will be seeing you next time. So you have a great evening, and bye-bye!